Hello, good day, evening, hello, how do you diddly doodling your dongle little dingles? Now, I've got something pretty, pretty crazy I'm about to bloody explain to you guys, so I'm sure you've probably seen on the, the sphere of the internet, the news, this man, Gideon. Now, if you don't know who he is, the guy does like pranks online, he's quite funny, you know, he gets loads and loads of views, and he confronted and exposed a gentleman called EDP445. Now, if you don't know what EDP stands for, it eat that pussy. Now, don't tell your mother I told you that, but that's what it stands for, right? I googled it a few years Years ago, EDP got caught up in a bit of drama because he met and was exposed, basically messaging and agreeing to meet up with 13-year-old people, girls I believe, or underage, so he was caught being a predator basically, a nonce. Now he had over 2 million subscribers, he was like, you've probably seen that meme that he is, and basically that happened a couple years ago when he was trying to meet a 13-year-old girl, and the, the, the reason, so you saw this, he's dressed as a cupcake, which might you think, you know what, maybe that's what he wears in his spare time, maybe that's what the dude likes, we don't don't judge on this channel we're loving everyone it looks like he's kind of got a bit of a boner going as well but we'll ignore that and he said that he met up so it's here you can see it and his excuse so this big theory this plot as to why he was meeting this 13 year old you know he could have said they were related he could have said anything now i'm not trying to give the pedophile ideas because that's just disgusting sort your life out get him castrated i don't know but he said he was going out to buy a cupcake and Rightly so, it was then called the Cupcake Incident. It became a bit of a meme, and well, Gideon, or Gideon, taking the P.I. staker of this man. Now, only what he deserves, he's probably got off lightly. You know, usually when people go out and meet 13-year-old girls and they're predators, uh, they usually end up in jail. Really? Really, really? But not this guy, this guy got away with it somehow. So he got banned off YouTube, rightly so. Instead of going to prison, uh, the police were like, we'll just take his YouTube channel off the internet, which is, you know, okay, whatever, you stupid idiots, can you not do your job and, you know, expose this guy for trying to meet up with a 13-year-old girl? My question is, what about if this shit was real? What about if they actually met up and he had intentions to do bad stuff? You know, I'm not I'm not, I'm not, not going to put anything in his mouth, but, you you know, why else do you meet up with a 13-year-old? So, yeah, he basically got um, a channel called Predator Poachers caught him trying to meet up with a 13 year old girl alleged means it happened and Gideon tried tracking him down and confronting him about it and they they're bringing out a full video uh, regarding it I'm not talking to you he's talking to you he's been caught again it says kiss my ass I'm gonna show you this video as well this is another slight tease from what's to come for the video it's him uh, this bloke I don't know who he is but it's Judean's friend uh, having a conversation with him and trying to you know uh, get to the bottom of to why he's actually wanting to meet a 13 year old girl which I think is a very very valid question if you could guess Brian why do you think we're here could you, could you answer me that, Bryant? Straight away, he walks off. Now, personally, I, I don't think this guy's too bright. I think he's not got much between his ears. What, what what do you want me to say? That's just the kind of vibe I get from this bloke. EDP, eat that pussy. Not a very creative name, all right? Come up with has, mate. That's much, much cooler. Much more innovative. Very original, Captain. But if I was getting confronted by two men, one wearing a suit, and I was innocent, I would not walk into a shop, I would approach them and speak to them. I would say, what the fuck is this about, my friend? Why are you here harassing me? I wouldn't walk off, because now it just makes everyone in the internet look like you're guilty. Even if you are guilty, which, I mean, you probably is, you know, we, we don't judge, we're not a courtroom, my opinion means nothing at the end of the day, but even if this guy is not guilty, walking off is the wrong thing to do. If he is guilty, walking off is the wrong thing to do. Makes you look guilty either way. Brian, don't be like this, Brian. I just have a few questions. I want to know what this picture is of you with the, the makeup on. Do you recall this picture, Brian? So, uh, the theory is he's been sending this to underage girls. Um, look, if you want to wear makeup, you wear makeup. Um, I personally don't wear makeup because I think it's um, for ladies, but men can also wear it, right? I don't know. But I, I, I personally don't wear it. I think I look good enough without it. No, I'm joking. I'm a sinking ship. You can't, you know, you can, how much duct tape can you put around something that's sinking? It doesn't work. Just because you slabber it in a bit of foundation, a bit of eyeliner, it's still going down. It, you know, nothing's saving me at this point. And let's be honest, nothing's saving that guy either. Fuck is that shit? That makes him look even worse. All due respect, my friend. He wasn't the, uh, the peachiest of fellas to start with. Brian, Brian, can you look here? I just want to know what this is. Like, what in the actual fuck is this? Like, <laughs> what in the actual fuck is this? <laughs> it's a valid question. We all want to know. So he literally got caught. He's been allowed outside, not in prison. Obviously, he's not in prison, this guy. He got away with it somehow, which is kind of confusing. I don't really understand how. I'm going to show this video after, but how can you firstly get done trying to m meet underage people, underage minors, all right? Get away with it, get caught again, and you're still not in prison. Now, we're going to watch this video. This is the live footage of him getting caught and the police getting caught of him. Uh, 
this is what he tweeted. Fucking hell, he's still around. This is this is him. Look at that inspirational quote. You know when you, you see like celebrities and they have proper good quotes in the bio and you're like, fucking hell, I'm copy and pasting that. I only trust two people in life. One is me. I'm the weather ain't you, bitch. But look, we live in a day and age where little skank ass hoes can go around purposely trying to set up the N-words up, bit get a life and get them off the internet. Brother, you've just surely admitted to yourself that you're guilty. You've just admitted your guilt. So he's just admitted he's been trying to set up so he was clearly set up to do something bad and you still said yes. You still agreed to do it, you dumb donk. Here you are, you're Sorry, not learning your lesson. Please, y'all, man. This is not okay. This is not okay. The moment he knew his life was over, when people were going to do the right thing and call the police because he was going to meet a 13-year-old. He's 30, by the way. 30. 3-0. Honestly, we're doing you a big favor? No, 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 no. You guys, please. Hi, is this Bakersfield, Kern County? Are you really okay. doing this? There's somebody here to meet You're a 13 You're here to meet a 13 year old. Oh, boy, there it is, you know, he, he's like, are you really doing this? You guys, are you really gonna, you know, be Batman and uphold the law? Yeah, mate, you're meeting an underage girl. Apartments? Um... Are you serious? He's like, are you serious? Are you seriously gonna report me to the police for trying to meet an underage girl? Like, imagine if these guys, ha this was real and he actually managed to meet her. You know, obviously you don't want to think of the worst come worst serve, but like, what would have happened? You don't want to say it, but why else do you meet 13 year old girls? I don't think they're going to be playing football or, you know, practicing dance together. I mean, this guy doesn't look like he's, I don't think he's able to see his fucking penis, to be honest. We're, we're trying to get you help. Because you're not going to get out. There we go. There's the man in trouble. He got caught. This this is where he's going to be next. Because fuck me, does this prick deserve it. People like this should not be on the outside. They shouldn't be, you know, not doing anything. We got another video of here, so Gideon and a few others, they get on a Teams or Zoom or Discord chat and they're on, they're having a bloody chat about what just happened. So this is after, by the way, so this guy must be clearly thick in the skull because he just got caught and is now going online. Like, this video is going to be terrible. Lawyer. <laughs> yeah, because you're going to be like riding on yourself, you know? You can't, you can't be snitching on yourself. Real G's move in silence like lasagna. But like, I feel like, I feel like people are just trying to set you up at this point. Like, I don't know, like, what's going on, but like, it doesn't even seem real at this point. You know? People are trying to set him up. Rightly so, this man deserves to be behind bars. Or at least get some help. This guy's been exposed to the internet. He's been a meme. He's got a load of money. But he's trying to meet underage girls. He could flaunt all this cash and pretend he's this, that, and the other to them. Something you have to understand, and I've been, you know, I'm not trying to come off as kind of sending, so I apologize. Um, you know, this is something that I've told people this shit way you make the like reveal? about a few years ago. Make the reveal? Um, is, is, see, is it time? I can't hear it. Is it level, you know what I mean? They start making up shit and they start trying to make your life as miserable as they possibly can. Be you here? Look at me. I'm a successful YouTuber who got millions of views and two million followers and I was a big deal and then I accidentally met a 13 year old and agreed to meet her but I just wanted to buy her a cupcake. Oh my god, my life's so hard. Shut the fuck up, bitch. No sympathy from anyone. You don't deserve it. Oh, I'm, I'm the victim. You're not the victim, my friend. You're not the victim at all. Uh, in fact, you're not even my friend. I feel bad saying that. You are a piece of shit that has used your power and your fame to uh, get what you wanted. Little kids. Jealousy, you know what I mean? Um, yes, jealous. Jealousy of the fact you can get 13-year-old girls, mate. And you can't even, to be fair, every time it's been a scam, so. I mean, he needs cupcakes. That's what he does. What's up, Brian? Yeah! Remember me, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> That dude's eating a cupcake. Hey, how do I kick this nigga, bro? He's just gonna sit there and take it. So he's 32, actually. He's this guy's 32. So yeah, he uh, intimate conversations with basically underage girls, and somehow he's still in the public. He's still online. He got caught twice, maybe more. Gideon, he deserves a pay rise. Top bloke for catching this guy. Now, Killer Keemstar. So take this how you want. Uploaded this. Now I'm not actually sure if it's real, but this is apparently is a victim. We're not gonna watch it because it's a little bit depressing. If you wanna watch it, go to Drama Alert Nation. But I, I just wanted to let you know, like there is evidence of people who are his potential victims.
So obviously got the evidence, dates, yeah, it looks like it. Sent nudes several times, like you get it, I'm not going to play any more because it, it's, again, it's not like, this topic's very sensitive, don't want to put the whole video there. If you want to go see it, it's on the internet, do yourself a favour, but look, this guy deserves to be only one place, Prison. and that is behind bars, getting the help he needs. How he got away with it the first time, mind-blowing. If he'll get away with it now, highly doubt it. If I was him, I'd lose a shit ton of weight, shave me head, fucking get on the first illegal plane possible and head to Mexico because his life is going to be hell. He's just been caught, the video's about to come out ruining this guy. What do you guys think? I hope you think the same as me. If not, get stuff. Now, seriously, love you guys. Take care.